Hi, this is David McCam for WebTNG. In this video, I'm looking at Fluent Snippets. Fluent Snippets is a plugin for managing your PHP, JavaScript, CSS, and HTML code snippets. It's from the WP Managed Ninja team, the same people who make Fluent Forms and other well respected plugins. This video, I'm going to do a walkthrough to show you how it works and to show you some of the unique features of this plugin. This is the Fluent Snippets website. There's some information about the plugin here, but there's not too much documentation yet because it's just launched. Now, one thing you will notice though is that Fluent Snippets is free and it's available in the WordPress plugin directory. Given that it's new, it may seem odd that it's already on version 10.2 and has more than a thousand active installs. And that's because if you look at the slug of the plugin, it says Easy Code Manager. This was a snippets plugin that was created many years ago and was not kept up to date. And the WP Managed Ninja team took it over. And if we look at the development log, we'll see that they totally rewrote the plugin and gave it a new user interface and workflow. I have here a test website for us to do a walkthrough. And if we go to the plugins page and do add new, here's the plugin and I'm going to install it and activate it. Okay, and when we do that, then we get a new menu item down here. There are three pages here. The About page gives you some information about Fluent Snippets. There's a Settings page. You can activate snippets as the default action. If you don't do this, then after you create a snippet, you'll have to go to the extra step and activate it. There's the option here, which I've checked, which is to automatically disable scripts on a fatal error. So if you made a mistake in your script, it would get disabled so you could get back in and fix it. And then there's the option to remove all data when you delete the plugin. And that's coming soon. That's not available yet. Now, sometimes with code snippets, you can accidentally disable your site. You can have a bug in the snippet that gives you a white screen or something like that. And so they give you two ways that you can get back into the admin if that happens. One is that there is a special safe mode URL. And the other is that you can define safe mode in your WP config file. And the last setting here is that there's a standalone mode. And this is one of the unique features of Fluent Snippets. And we'll come back to this in a couple of minutes and we'll see how it works. But first, let's go and create our first snippet. You have the option whether you want to create a PHP, a PHP and HTML, a CSS, or a JavaScript snippet. And over here, you give your snippet a name. So I'm going to do add plugin link to admin menu. You can give it a description. You can have a group, so you can group your snippets together. You can give it the priority, and this is how soon it loads in the page load sequence. And then you can also give your snippets a tag if you want to use tags. Okay, so I'm going to paste in my code snippet here. What I'm doing is I'm adding a call to this function, add link to admin bar, and I'm adding a link to the plugins page. Nothing too spectacular here. Then down here, you have an option. You can run it everywhere. That's front end and admin, admin only or front end only. And then there's some conditional logic options, which we'll come back to in a minute. But let's create this snippet. OK, and remember what I said about it starting out as a draft. So you can activate it here. Or you can go back to your list of snippets 
here, and here it is, and you can activate it here. Okay, so there are two ways of activating it. Now let's go to the front end of the site. We see we have the plugins menu item. Let's go to the dashboard and we see we have plugins menu item. Let's click it and we go to our plugin page. So that's working. Let's go ahead and create another one and we'll do something simple. Okay, you can see it's adding the style tag here. And I'm just going to do H1 color red. Okay, so that would turn all the page titles red. Okay, and then we select the location. I only want it on the front end. And let's give it a name now. Page title alerts. Okay, we'll leave the other things at the default and we'll create the snippet. And let's go ahead and activate it. And now if we go to the home page, we see that the page titles are red. Okay, but suppose we wanted only the sample page to have a red title, but the other pages to have a normal black color title. Now let's go and look at the conditions options that we have. Okay, so we can click for conditional logic. And here you can add multiple conditions. And by default, they're going to be and conditions. So let's add one. And you have the option for user, whether they're logged in or user role. You have the option for page, the type of page, the post type, the taxonomy page, term page, URL or a single post page or custom post type. And then there's a date option, time option, and day of week option. Okay, so I'm going to go for a single page. And this is where we say includes. And we'll go sample. And let's update the snippet. Let's go to the home page. This is no longer red, but this one is. So you see how easy that is. So if you've used other code snippets plugins, this will all seem very familiar. But now let's take a look at what makes Fluent Snippets different. Here is the file system for this test website and you'll notice that it has a folder for fluent snippet storage. Okay, if we open that up, we see here our two snippets. So what's happening here is that fluent snippets is saving your snippets to the file system. Most snippets programs save the snippets to the database. There are a couple of advantages for saving to the file system. One of them is that the file system is much faster. Now there are another couple of advantages also. Let's go check those out. If we go to the settings menu here, there is this standalone mode. Remember that I pointed out earlier that I said we'd come back and check out. I'm going to enable this. Okay, and when I do, we go and look at the installed plugins, we see that we now have a must use plugin. And a must use plugin is one that you can't disable and delete from within the admin like you normally do with plugins. Okay, it's going to be loaded every time WordPress loads a page. So this adds an extra bit of security here because if a user gets access to your admin, they won't be able to delete this must use plugin. Okay, now let's go back to the install plugins and let's deactivate Fluent Snippets and let's delete it even. Normally we would think at this point we've removed our snippets. They're no longer there because we've deactivated and deleted the plugin. But look, the must use plugin is still there. And if we go to the front end and look at our sample page, here is our alert page title. 
And if we look at the admin menu, we still have this plugins link. So our code snippets are still working. This is another advantage of Fluent Snippets is that it's created this must use plugin. So if some other user of your website or a hacker gains access, they can't easily disable your code snippets. And sometimes it happens that there is a database breach. Maybe there is a SQL injection or something like that, and a hacker can manipulate your WordPress database. Even then, they won't be able to disable your code snippets, and they won't be able to add a rogue code snippet. Going back to look at the file system, you see that there's now this folder, MU Plugins, and here is the must-use plugin that Fluent Snippets created and it's still loading your snippets from the file system. If later you decide you don't want to have code snippets, you can go to the file system and you can delete this must use plugin. Or since Fluent Snippets is free, you can reinstall the Fluent Snippets plugin and you can add or modify your snippets using the user interface. Okay, so that's the walkthrough and look at how Fluent Snippets works. There are just a couple of comments that I'd like to share. There are a number of good Snippets plugins available, and they all have different features. So choose the one that works best for you and that has the features you need. As we've seen, Fluent Snippets has a few really nice features that makes it an option to consider. First, it's free. Second, it has a nice user interface and it's easy to use. Third, it saves the code snippets to the file system. And fourth, you have the option to create a custom must-use plugin and you're able to actually remove Fluent Snippets from the website and you don't even need to have it installed anymore. All of which means that when you're using code snippets with the Fluent Snippets plugin, things are a little bit faster and more secure. So Fluent Snippets offers a nice feature set, and for that reason, I think it's going to catch on and will be a popular choice for site builders. It's another free plugin from the WP Manage Ninja team. They have a few really nice ones that are go-to solutions for people, such as Fluent SMTP. So that's the end of this video. Hope that you found it worthwhile and got something good out of it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. It helps. Thank you for watching.